Hey guys, Charlie here and Tom from the Super Mega Podcast team. Now before we went on our holidays, we mentioned that Ubisoft had announced a forthcoming Assassin's Creed title, rumoured to be Assassin's Creed 3. Now, we're back off our holidays now, back in the full swing of things, and we're here to bring you a reveal trailer for Assassin's Creed 3. We've got a lot to talk about with this, so let's take a quick look at the trailer. Peggy 18. So that's the Assassin's Creed 3 reveal trailer. And safe to say it reveals a lot. First of all, we know the setting now is going to be set during the American Revolution. So yeah, bring it forward yet again um, in the newest game. And we can see, obviously, there's some Native American uh, vibes brought into this game in terms of both weaponry and the clothing of the latest assassin. Yeah, uh, his name's going to be Connor. He's obviously uh, an ancestor of the main character in the series, Desmond Miles. Uh, he's half Mohawk Indian and half English. Now we can see from the trailer they're hating on us Brits again. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, a lot of Brit hate recently. Hollywood style British people are evil. Um, plays a big part in Assassin's Creed, but uh, we are told that there'll be equally, you know, there'll be American Templars as well. So it's not just an all-out hate fest for us. But there are going to be some major historical characters involved during the American Revolution. Yep, yeah, I mean, just from the trailer, we can see George Washington is in the video, and it's been confirmed that he'll be uh, within the game. I think he's going to have a major impact on the story. Yeah, he's going to definitely play a big part, along with other uh, major historical characters like Charles Lee, the British traitor, and other historical figures like Benjamin Franklin will also feature. But there's also going to be a big change in the sort of scenery that we're looking at. Uh, most of the other games are set within cities and towns, just sort of small settlements. This game, however, is going to be really kind of in the American frontier, uh, out in the woods, out in the plains, uh, and you're going to be able to climb pretty much anything in the game, uh, especially like the trees, and with the main character being of Indian descent, you know, you're going to be able to get out there in the wild. Yeah, I mean the trailer does show that complete juxtaposition in terms of uh, what we'll be seeing in, in, for environment purposes and uh, there seems to be a lot of large epic battles going on as well which uh, seems to be a hint of the new game engine. Definitely, there's going to be a new game engine and this is going to be able to support hundreds if not thousands of enemies on the screen at any single time. So we're going to be able to see massive battles uh, and I'm pretty sure that they're going to make full use of this uh, yeah. in an era you know, where massed armies are going to be killing each other on a huge scale. Uh, and one of the most interesting things that I think is going to play a part in this new game is the new gameplay elements uh, between weapons, really. Uh, as you can see in the trailer, the main character is using very kind of Native American Indian uh, weaponry. He's got an axe that I love. It's in the shape of the Assassin's logo. Uh, along with a bow and a dagger. But we've had guns feature in other Assassin's Creed games, but they're only really wielded by the player. For the first time in a series, we're going to have enemies that can shoot back. Yeah, and I think this uh, this addition will make a very different style. Um, it's really going to draw on 
players' ability to use stealth gameplay. Uh, and it's going to punish players, I think, who can't really do that so well. The other Assassin's Creed games tend to sort of sucker you into uh, a point where you just walk around, you know, with your sword hanging out, just going, hey, I'm an assassin. Don't care, I'm going to kill you. I think this definitely shakes things up a bit, as you say, the different location, um, the fact that we're going to be having much bigger battles with more people um, and more enemies to face will uh, definitely push the challenge on in terms of gameplay. Not even just that, the, the whole fight mechanics have changed. They said that they really wanted to build a new kind of fight mechanic from having that real kind of counter, counter, counter um, that players usually get suckered into with the other Assassin's Creed games. So there's a lot of features here. Um, it's going to be rewriting the rule book for the Assassin's Creed series. Pretty much. And uh, long term listeners slash viewers will know that we're massive fans of this game. It's going to be released October the 31st in Europe and October the 30th, a day earlier, in North America. Yep, so two reasons to be looking forward to Halloween now. Um, we're very excited and as we hear more news we're going to be bringing you anything we hear. Uh, but for now, let us know what you're thinking of it. Uh, write to us at supermegapodcast at gmail.com. You can tweet us, twitter.com forward slash supermegapod. Don't forget to start your tweets with at supermegapod. Facebook us at facebook.com forward slash supermegapodcast. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel, guys. Let us know what you think of these videos. Yeah, you are the lifeblood of our community. We welcome your opinions and just let your friends know about us. Uh, but for now, from me, Tom. And me, Charlie. We've been Supermega Podcast. Keep playing with yourself. <laughs>